fish. Now he's underneath it. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that big fish on that tiny little fly. Beauty. Coming to life now. Little shad pattern fly. Some of the shad here are really small, so we went with that junior trolling fly and it uh, paid off. We had it out there maybe 15 minutes or so. Wow, look at that. Pulled off a little line there and moving back in. Right. You know, I just did a commercial about these flies, and I said in the commercial, bigger isn't always better. And look at the size of that fly. That is a tiny fly, two pound trout. He jumped all over it. It looked like a little shad fl uh, fry down there. And uh, bam, fish on, fish in the boat. We'll get him back in the water here, get him revived, and get him, get him on his way. So there's the fly that got that. Uh, you know that husky trout he wasn't the biggest trout we've caught but he was still a nice two pound fish but there's a lot of little immature shad in the lake and uh, match the hatch catch the fish and that's why you need some small flies in your arsenal the bait isn't always large but when the bait's small big fish will eat that small bait so it's nice to have some little junior flies just like that Woo! junior fly strikes again third fish in 15 minutes it's just a real a real simple small streamer number eight hook silver and white looks like a little shad and uh, the fish are digging it that's a nicer fish oh that's a fatty oh yeah right there surface temperature is oh it came off surface temp is 73 degrees out here and uh, the fish are down about 25 to 30 feet deep Okay guys, we got one of the junior trolling flies on here and we have got a massive rainbow on it. Just keep reeling, Carrie. Just keep doing your thing. Here he comes. He's tired. Just keep reeling. Look at that fish. Look at that monstrous fish. Number eight hook, guys. That's about a six pound rainbow. Yes, in the net, right there. Look at that fish. There you go. Wow! <laughs> Holy crap! All right. You know, a lot of folks on the internet said Woo! those flies were too small. As you can see, they absolutely look, absolutely work. Wow. And look at that tiny fly. Look, right there. Oh That's it. That big fish took that fly. Naked. Do you want to experience maximum success when it comes to trout trolling? If you do, integrate trolling flies into your arsenal. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and pick up one of Kel Kellogg's signature series trolling fly kits today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. As you can tell from the intro to this video, we are gonna talk about trolling flies once again today, but we are gonna talk about the large, you know, standard trolling flies you often see me pulling. We're gonna talk about small trolling flies and why they are very effective fish catchers. But before we get into that, we're gonna kinda of take the long way around the barn here. I need to give you some background information. So I really started playing with flies about four years ago, seriously. And it took me a little while and a kind of a leap of faith to start trolling them enough to really start to learn the fly trolling game. And I continue to learn new things, you know, every time I'm out on the water to this day. And I expect that to go on for a very long time because, you know, trolling flies, whether you're talking about big flies, small flies, colorful flies, bait fish pattern flies, whatever, they are super effective, you know, trout and salmon catchers. But once I started trolling flies, you know, and got some got some experience under my belt, I started catching some very nice fish on those, you know, three to four inch flies. You've seen me pull a bunch of those flies here on the channel. You've seen a bunch of those flies hooked in the corner of some pretty nice trout. Um, so, you know, I'm pulling these three to four inch flies and I'm catching, you know, big fish on these flies and I'm catching a few small and medium sized fish on these flies. And I'm a very happy camper. 
And uh, slowly but surely, flies became one of my preferred offerings and I'm pairing them with spoons and, you know, hoochies and, and threaded worms and, and different things. And I found them to be just very versatile across a range of speeds, a range of situations and conditions and stuff like that. Well, last year, last winter, the end of last winter, I was up at Lake Elmanor and I was doing a two day um, adventure. I was gonna hit Elmanor first and then I was gonna hit Davis. So I hit Elmanor, fishing was a little tough, got one fish, one, one good size fish that had some copepods on it, on an orange trolling fly, you know, one of my, my standard issue three and a half inch flies. And uh, I got another nice fish that had no copepods on it on a Trigger Spoon Junior. Two bites, two fish. Not a great day at Elmanor, but I caught a couple fish. I had a fish for dinner. I was a happy camper, more or less. It was early afternoon. I was, you know, kind of hitching stuff up. It's about a 90 minute drive to Davis from Elmanor, and uh, I was gonna hit, eat some lunch and hit the road. So here comes this older gentleman, he comes over to me, and he's very interested in the Hobie kayak. I got it on the trailer, and I'm starting to bust out my lunch stuff. And he kind of, kind of does a walk around on it, and he starts asking me some questions, and, uh, a lot of times when old timers start asking you questions, they're not really looking for information. They're looking to see if you're a complete and total moron or if you're smart enough for them to share some actual insider information with. So he asked me several questions. We chatted for about 15 minutes and he, he, must, uh, he must have concluded that I wasn't a totally lost cause because he started to disclose some information and he knew who I was, but he didn't let on with that right away. He said, you're that, you're that writer guy that pulls flies, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. I, I pull a lot of flies. He's like, let me see your flies. And I got out my fly box and we're looking at these, you know, big, beautiful three and four inch flies, flies with, you know, lead eyes, flies with metal heads, flies without metal heads. And I'm showing them my wiggle discs and whatnot. And he discloses, well, he was one of the guys that started trolling flies with Jay Fair, and he fished with Jay Fair a lot. And if you're not familiar with the name Jay Fair, he was really the godfather of fly trolling in Northern California. Um, he was headquartered at uh, Eagle Lake, but he fished Elmanor, he fished other waters, and uh, he was really the pioneer in fly trolling, you know, in Northern California. And this gentleman, who I didn't even get his name, he fished with him and he was a guide. And come to find out, he ties his own trolling flies and he, he lives in Chester, California. So, and I wish I had his number because I'd like to chat with him some more. But um, he says, I'll bet you catch a lot of big fish on those big streamers. And I said, yeah, yeah, I do. I catch some really nice trout on them and, and you know, I'm just hooked on fly trolling. Well, he busts out his fly box and he says, I got a tip for you. He goes, there are times when those big flies are gonna be the best choice and they're gonna work really well for you. He said, but a lot of times, if you drop down a couple sizes or even three fly sizes, you're gonna find that you catch more trout and you actually catch more bigger trout when the fish aren't really you know, willing to go on a large fly. And a lot of my flies are tied on number four hooks. And he started breaking out some flies tied on number six hooks, some flies tied on number eight hooks, and he gave me four flies, which I still have. He said, use this one if you're fishing, you know, where there's small bait. Use this one if the water's stained. Um, use this one at Lake Davis and use this one at Lake Davis in the fall. Well, this was kind of in winter slash spring. So, okay, we, 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 we part ways. I go over to Davis. I rig up two rods. Um, the next day, hands down, and I was catching fish on my standard flies, but hands down, the rod rigged up with his smaller fly, it produced the biggest fish, um, and it produced the most fish. And uh, that experience left me with a lot to think about. So from that day forward, I started to play with smaller flies, smaller offerings. I just, I just started to mess around with them. And for the first time last week, I offered up a mega kit of flies that included some small flies. Well, I went out to guide at Collins Lake early last week and Wes and I, we spent some days together on the water and we spent some days apart on the water. Um, but our best fish producer last week Amid, you know, everything, everything we tried, spoons, threaded worms, gulp worms, large flies, medium-sized flies, was a small white streamer like that. 
In the intro to this, you saw fish up to six pounds caught on these streamers. It was our number one fish producer all last week, trolled naked in open water. It straight up performed. And I came back from that trip with the thought in mind, you guys out there in YouTube land, you guys out there that like to troll trout, guys out there that have bought my gear, you need a set of small flies. These flies are offered in my, my big mega master fly kit that includes a full set of my standard signature series flies, a full set of my large bait fish metalhead uh, flies, and you get 10 of these flies in there. I think it's 99 bucks and you get the wiggle discs and all that. But I am gonna start offering up sets of just what I call my junior trolling flies because they are so effective. Um, why are small flies effective? And it, there's a couple reasons, okay? One is, a lot of times, like at Collins Lake right now, there's a lot of small bait around, and to imitate that small bait, there is nothing better than a small fly. The other time you wanna troll a small fly is also something that I'm encountering at Collins Lake right now, and you're gonna encounter it at any popular trout lake, is a time when the fish are being exposed to a lot of fishing pressure. You know, at Collins Lake, the fish are seeing Rapalas and grubs and speedy shiners and needlefish and cast masters and all that standard stuff. They're being hit with that every day, all day. There's been a tremendous amount of pressure and uh, you know, honestly, more pressure shows up there every week. People are getting away on vacations and there have been a lot of boats on the water. So in that situation, smaller, subtler is gonna win the day. And that's exactly what we found at Collins Lake last week. Small fish, medium sized fish, big fish. We were catching them all. We were having very consistent results. Guys around us were struggling. I talked to one guy that I know, I know him. He knows how to fish. He, he, he knows what to do. He had zero bites and I had nine fish in the box by mid morning. So those are really the two situations that little flies, small flies really shine. When the bait is small and when the fish are highly pressured, that's the time that you need to slow down, downsize, show them that more subtle offering and uh, it's gonna be fish on. Now I'm gonna do another video cause I don't want this to go on forever. I'm gonna do another video on how I rig small, my trolling fly juniors just like that. It's a very similar rigging to what I'd use with the larger flies, um, but it's a, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna do a secondary video on that. But um, just know that when the going gets tough for whatever reason out on the water, Small flies like these, like this little black marabou fly, this little, um, can't get that to hook on there properly. Uh, flies like this little shad fry fly. It imitates a small shad minnow. You can see that, that shiny little body under there, the white, the red, the little eye. Um, they can really shine, that little, little shad fly when there's, there's shad larvae around or when the pond smelt are just starting to mature. Absolutely dynamite. And if they're out there, if they're feeding on chubs, stuff like that, stuff that's got that dark over light, you know, coloration, well, you might want to be pulling something like that. And that fly right there, it's not much wider than my thumb. That fly is probably, you know, three quarters of an inch long in total length. It's got the dark over light, the olive. It's got a little flash on the body, has a tiny little eye on it. If the fish are feeding on immature chubs or, you know, red side minnows or something like that, put that in front of them at, you know, one to one and a half miles an hour, they're gonna jump all over it because this is something they just haven't seen other anglers pulling. Flies are a super effective presentation. Fly anglers often outfish spin anglers on streams and fly trollers very often, you know, outpace other guys on lakes that are pulling, you know, standard hardware, your standard spoons, Rapalas and stuff like that. They don't work better every day, but uh, if you wanna catch more and bigger fish, I strongly suggest that you get trolling flies into your arsenal. You need some large ones. You need some for trolling fast. You need some standard ones for trolling at medium speeds. And you need some trolling fly juniors. Um, I'll give you a heads up when I have a, an exclusive kit of junior trolling flies available in the store. They're gonna be a great value. They're gonna be a super effective fish catcher. Get some junior flies and get after those fish. Um, I knew they were gonna work, but uh, to be honest with you, I was blown away by just how effective this little shad pattern fly 
was at Collins Lake last week. It didn't save our week. We were catching fish and worms and other things, but uh, I gotta tell you, I had tremendous, after the first afternoon we fished these, I had tremendous confidence in having that fly on the end of my line. And that lady you saw catch that six pound fish in the beginning of this video, you know, she'd caught her first ever fish on the boat. <coughs> she picked up a bass on one of these. Then she caught a few pan sized trout. Then she landed a six pounder. So small flies, they produce fish. Big fish, small fish different species of fish. They're just a winning presentation. I'm all excited like a little kid because I have, uh, I have found something that is super, super effective for me to use and for you guys to use. I'm signing off now. I've blabbered for like 12 minutes here. Anyway, I'm looking forward to doing more content like this. I'm actually gonna go up to Eagle Lake this fall and fish with Belle Aubrey. Um, she knew Jay Fair. She knows more about trolling flies than I will ever know. So I'm gonna soak up that information like a sponge. I'll be sharing a lot of those tactics, a lot of those, those thoughts and philosophies with you guys here on the channel. Um, I'll catch you next time. If you're looking for gear, you know where to go. Fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks for all the support, guys, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be talking trout fishing tactics. We're gonna be talking Got a bug in my ear. We are gonna be talking standard tactics. We are gonna be talking advanced tactics. We are gonna be talking trout fishing. I'm out of here. I wanna get out of these bugs. They're driving me crazy. I'm Kel Kellogg. You have a great day. <laughs>